in this digital age, how do we share our condolences? I don't have your address, your phone number, or even your email. Good morning, I'm Trista Polo. I woke up this way and it's awesome. Even when there's tragedy, even when there's death, we gotta find the awesome somewhere. So let's look at how we can make grieving families feel a little tiny bit more awesome in the wake of terrible loss. I keep thinking about the tragedy of the 20 person bus accident that happened in upstate New York this weekend. And I've started to see people posting stories of loss of people they knew that were on that bus. I can feel your pain having felt my own loss and I want to reach out. In this busy world, often what we'll do is just post a comment of, I'm sorry for your loss. But is there more we can do in this digital world when we really don't connect like we used to? So today let's talk about ways we can offer condolences in a digital world for those of us who want to go a little bit further than a condolence comment on a post about loss. That's today on Tell the Truth Tuesday. So I get your post and I wanna share condolences and I have no way to reach you. I can send a Facebook message which you will get privately, but even that sometimes isn't enough. I love a handwritten note, especially if you can add an extra memory or two about the deceased. But how do I send you a handwritten note? I have no idea where you live. Well, you'd be surprised how easy it is to find someone's address. But if I'm unlisted or I use a name other than my full name on my Facebook profile, here are some other ways that you could get me a handwritten note. If you have the obituary, you can get a handwritten note to the loved one by putting it through the funeral home, the church, or the organization in lieu of flowers. You could also find the person's information through common friends they and you have together. A friend showing up in lots of their photos and profile pictures is someone they know in real life and would probably know how to reach them with a handwritten note. Another way to show condolences has always been to bring a dish to the person's house. We know they're not gonna wanna cook, they're too upset. How do we do that in a digital age? Well, if you have the person's contact information, there are so many ways online, from gift baskets to wine to pre-prepared meals. There are a lot of options out there. If the person was a sports fan, oftentimes the team will send a letter of condolence. All you have to do is call them up and ask. But whatever you decide to do, whether it's a comment on someone's post or a special tribute, it's perfect just as it is. No one gets to tell me how to grieve and no one gets to tell you how to honor my grieving. We're all traveling through this world the best way we know how and whatever you have the capacity to give is enough. If you have other ideas of how to offer condolences in this uniquely digital landscape, please share them in the comments, along with any other comments and questions that you have. Please subscribe to my videos and hit that notification bell so that you make sure to get all of my new videos every Tuesday. I'm Trista Polo, I woke up this way and it's awesome. Have a great day, everybody.